Hello everyone, in this video I am going to help you fix issue with USB flash drive not showing up on the computer. I have this 32 GB of stick and I just insert it into one of the slots as you can hear the sound but when I open this PC it's not showing up. We will try the usual methods first and see if we can solve the problem without getting into a big headache. Press Windows R shortcut key on your computer type disk part and press ok. On the command prompt window type list disk and hit enter. So as you can see we have two disks. One is disk 0 which is my computer's hard disk and then we have disk 1 which is the USB stick and its status is no media. This assures us that the USB is there but it's not showing up on our computer. Let's close this window and right click on this PC and then go to manage. Click on disk management under the storage. In here we can see the disk 1 but it says no media. We are going to change its drive letter and see if it works. We will change its letter from H to F. Click on yes and this method didn't work either. It seems like none of these methods are helpful. Now in order to fix this issue and have our USB working again, we need to download a couple of softwares that will help us solve this issue. Open google.com and search for chipmagic USB DEV. Click on the first link from the search result. This website will open up. Scroll down all the way and open this last link to download the software. Let's click here and show in folder. Open that RAR file. You need the WinRAR software installed on your machine to be able to open these kind of files. I will leave the link down in the description box for you to download the WinRAR program. Now install the Chip Genius program on your computer. The password is usbdev.ru. In this window, select your USB and find its controller window. My USB is in the F drive and its controller window is first chip. You need to remember the controller window of your USB flash drive. And now let's go back to the website, scroll down to the top of the page. And in the search box, type your controller vendor. Mine is first chip. And then press enter. From the search result, scroll down and click on the first link. Scroll down and download the latest software for the first chip, MP Tools. And let's wait for the download to complete. I will fast forward this so you don't have to wait. The download has completed. Let's choose show and folder and extract the program. Double click on the folder. Now open the fcmptools.exe. We have two options, end product and test rack. Choose test rack and click on OK button. Make sure you have inserted the flash into the USB slot. Come to the right side of this window and click on start. It will do two scans. The first scan will be a quick one which will take a minute. And the second scan will take quite a long time, maybe two to three hours to complete. So you have to be patient and let this long scan complete or you won't be able to get your USB working again. The first scan has just completed and we can see a pop-up message down here on the taskbar showing that the USB has been detected. But as said, we need to wait for the second scan to finish so we can have our USB working again. The second scan has just started and I will pause the recording and we'll see you once this long scan is completed. So it almost took 3 hours to complete the scan. Now let's wait and see if the USB has been fixed or not. Open this PC and there you go. My USB stick is showing up under the device and drives menu now. And my USB stick is working fine once again. I can copy and paste anything I want. 
and I can delete things from my USB. If I go to the disk management, I can see my USB in there as well, which means it's ready to use. Let's see if I can format the USB. I will choose the file format as NTFS and give it a name as my USB stick. Click on start and click OK. The format has been completed. I know it was time consuming but hey, we just fixed a broken USB stick. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel if this video has helped you. I will see you guys next time.